844, March 20th. God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Guys, we're in some mighty, amazing times, man. The things that we are about to be witnessing. Well, some of us have been seeing things a long time. Just a lot of people haven't been believing it. Nor were they listening or heeding the warnings that we were trying to give. And uh, it's here now, you know. Whether they start waking up or not, I don't know. But we know the word says, All who call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, will be saved. His word is true, you know. But there's also those where he said, If you're taking pleasure in unrighteousness, he will send you strong delusions. You guys, this is spiritual. It's all spiritual. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Carnal minded is to be death. We're going to be changed in a moment in the twinkling of the eye. We'll become spirit. That's this life. You know, if we were to look at it, um, our lifetime is but a just a little flash. It's not what we think it is. When we turn into eternal beings, you know, that which is eternal forever, when we turn into this, we're not going to, uh, that's going to be what's going to feel right to us. This life doesn't feel right, man. It's death in the bodies, decaying, dying. Um, it's very uncomfortable. I don't like it. You know, there's pain, there's suffering, there's all this stuff. And, uh, People love it, man. But let me tell you something, you guys. The devil, the evil spirits, they've been here all the time. They know their time is up, too. And they're afraid. I promise you, they, they are afraid. I told you how once I had a woman, like, walk up to my eyes, and she trembled from her head down to her toes. And I've only seen a dog tremble like that. Only a dog. From the head down to the toes. I've never thought that would be possible. A human being could tremble like that. They've been here. They've always been here, you guys. Always. They've always been here among us. Things, you're going to be seeing a lot of things. Day by day, things are going to be changing like you've never seen before. You guys, there's things that the Lord has told me, shown me. I haven't talked a lot about it because I know it would be a lot for people to even understand or believe. Why? Because there's things that are sealed up that weren't even mentioned in the Word of God where he says seal it up and leave it for the end. Don't write it down. <coughs> and I know there's things that people wouldn't understand. That's why I don't say it all. I've had people sit there and say, well, tell me what all he's told. There's no point in it. It's all going to be, it's all being revealed right now. You know, a lot of people don't understand when it says our body is the temple. You know, they really don't understand where from within, Jesus even said it, the kingdom comes from within, not what everybody thinks. It's not what everybody thinks. I've showed everybody the photos that I've got of spirits around me. I've had a lot of things happen around me, you guys. A lot of people wouldn't believe the spiritual warfare. I told you how they came after my business. Well, first they tried to offer me a lot of money to work in this world. To be in their little whatever they are, you know? I didn't want no part of it. Because I knew it was evil. And I knew they were anti-Christ. And I wanted nothing to do with it. All right, let me read a little bit this morning, you guys. And I got, I want to read also, play Psalms 91 for you, okay? Don't have a spirit of fear in any of this, you guys. We're longing for this to be over. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15. Now, if any man builds upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because... It shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abides, which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. 
If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know you not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Hear that? The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defiles the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. That was 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 12 through 18. Romans chapter 14, 10 through 12. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. You guys, if you're just doing what the Word of God says to do, watching, listening, pay attention, focus. With their own mouth, they will testify against themselves. You don't have to judge nobody. They'll do it themselves. It's simple. God's the one that's bringing everything to the surface, whether it be good or whether it be evil. He's bringing it all to the surface right now. Why do you think they're scattering and they're doing the things they're doing right now? They're so nervous. It's over now, you guys. All this stuff has been staged and set up for this time that we're in right now. And they're very nervous, man. They know their time is up. They know there's, you know, it's going to get real bad for them real quick. Matthews. <coughs> their time is up, man. They've been doing some mighty wicked things here, you guys. I'm telling you, I got, I got real, real sick and tired of any of them, you know? There's nothing they can say around me because I just got to the point where I really, I had it. I just had it with them all. Matthew 16, 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Okay? Guys, everybody's always had this opportunity to turn from sin, but they kept, you know, voting for these people for their, their heart's desires, man. This place kept getting darker and darker and darker. It just kept getting darker. Evil, you know, letting more of it in, manifesting. It just kept manifesting to the point where there's no return, you know. It's got to all be destroyed now. This is where they brought it to that level. Who will render to every man his deeds? That's Romans 2.6. Who will render to every man his deeds? The things that he's done. Okay? Especially if they're not repenting of their sin. And, you know, turning to Christ. Changing. Stopping the sin. That's what it's about. Stopping it. Overcoming it. Romans chapter 1 through 11. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou shalt judgest does the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to the truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that thou judgest them which do such things? And does thou, does, does thee do the same? And thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness? And forbearance and long suffering, Not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, Treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation 
of the righteous, condemned of God. Who will render to every man according to his deeds? To whom, to them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, but unto them that are contingent to do not obey the truth and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness and indignation and wrath. This is the way people are today, you guys. And they're all going to be following orders, doing, going in the same direction what they're telling them to do. Even though they know that it's wrong. We don't have to judge them. They're doing it themselves. It's clearly easy to see. You know, those if they're not among us, you know, we ain't got to judge them. They've done it themselves. Even with their own mouths, they're testifying against themselves. You know? I've had people... A guy that called himself a preacher and he's got a church and he said what I'm reading the things that I'm doing is doctrines of devils and it's straight out of the King James Bible I'm like wow that was a bold statement you know because I say um, I want to I keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ they call that works really Satan comes against those that are keeping the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's who he's making war with right now. And we're not saying we're sinning every day. We said we did. And we no longer do those things we used to do. You know? Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that does evil, of the Jew first, and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. Matthew 12:37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words, thy shall be condemned. That's what I'm saying. Just listen with their own mouth. They're telling you what they're doing with their own mouth. It's not us. It's not us condemning them. They're condemning themselves. That was Matthew's 12, 37. Job <coughs> 15, 6. Thy own mouth condemned thee, not I. Yeah, thy own lips testify against thyself. So when you hear them say, this is me. So when you hear them say they're sinning every day. Or because you are keeping God's commandments. And your testimony of Jesus. And they're trying to say that's works. Um, they tell you that that's works. And we know it's written. The devil makes war against those who do these things. With their own mouth, they testify against themselves. Many times we have tried to correct them, okay? We're not condemning them, but we've tried to correct them. As Scripture says, using Scripture, we try to correct them with it, but they won't receive it, and they keep coming against us on it, you know? God help them, you know? We're not trying to be their enemy. We're just trying to make sure lots of people aren't being deceived, you know? Just like a lot of people think, that, oh, rapture any moment, you know? Listen, you know, if you, they're telling people it's okay if they're sinning every day, you know, no. Um, and we're going to see things. We're not going to just disappear. You know, I was trying to tell people for a long time to get ready to put things away, dried foods and stuff for the times that are ahead. You know, we're, we come out of great tribulation. We don't go through it. We come out of it. But still, if you didn't get ready... That's where it says, you know, I will liken him into a wise man that hears my sayings, his testimonies, and does them. Okay? For when the storm comes, and it's coming, it's here now. Um, when the winds blow and all that thing, the rains descend, that house will be on upon a rock, was built upon a rock. And I had a dream about that. Versus those, a foolish person that hears these sayings of mine and does them not. You know, when the storm comes, great was the fall of that house. 
and I had a dream seeing it, you guys. And I'm not taking pleasure in it. You know, I'm saying I've tried saying it for quite a while, and uh, people don't want to believe it. And then you show them things that they've never seen before, then they really don't want to believe it. You know, they want to, they want to, they paint a picture in their own head what they want to believe. And then when you show them the truth, they still don't want to believe it. It's a lot of people that can't, you know, when I show them the things that I know that the Lord has revealed unto me, and I show them, and I even got photos of it. They, it's too much for them. You know, they can't handle it, you know. Anyhow. All right, many times we have tried to correct them of their teaching when they say grace and faith and nothing else, which is saying not to even do what is written. It's basically, that's what they're saying. We keep the commandments and our testimony of Jesus Christ, even if they say it's works. We also know the devil is coming against those who do just that. Revelations 12, 17. The dragon was wroth with the woman. He went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God, which have the testimony of Jesus Christ. You guys, we're saved by grace through faith. And what Jesus did on the cross, he defeated death and hell. So your captivity's over. Only by the blood of Christ. Had he not come, it's the blood of Christ that cleanses us from our sins. It doesn't make us a way to continue sinning. You can repent, but if you're taking pleasure in it, that's when it's over. You know? And people have been abusing it. Here comes the little puppy again. <laughs> she can hear me when I'm doing my videos. I got kind of like a deeper voice. Yeah, what you doing, you little hound dog? Hmm? What you doing? Alright. Here we go. All who shall call on the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, and believe, and he died on the cross for your sins, you shall be saved. Okay? All who call on the name of the Lord. The word says it, and it's true. Many, many people are going to be given strong delusions to believe the lies. They may not even be able to do that. You know? They may not think that they have to. You know? For the scripture says, whoever believes on him shall not be ashamed for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him for whosoever shall call upon him in the name of the Lord shall be saved excuse me one minute okay you guys remember that all who call on the name of the Lord this is where we want to be telling people you know this, it's time to repent you should have repented long ago and stopped the sin. Sin is a choice, just like a cigarette, man. It says, with the temptation, he makes a way for you to escape. Okay, in other words, you can feel that temptation, man, but you can escape, you don't have to do it, man. And the work he started in us, he'll finish it. He's gonna cleanse us. When we're in our new eternal bodies, they'll be uncorruptible. We won't have these fleshly lust desires and stuff. You can't overcome it. You really can. Romans 10, 13. 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You guys, we have a beautiful Savior, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, man. He doesn't wish anybody to perish. <laughs> Don't have a spirit of fear when you see these things coming, but have a spirit of faith and believe in the Lord, you know, when you see these things coming on the earth. Don't have a spirit of fear. Just be praise the Lord, man, when you see it. Those that are, the devil's got it fearful. You know, they've been here doing their thing for quite some time and it's over. They're gonna be fearful. Those who love the this, what's of the devil, they're gonna be fearful because they're, you know, 
the truth isn't in them. How then shall they call on him? They have not believed. You hear that? How will they be able to call on him if they have not believed? How shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? You see, guys, I've had this uh, quite some time. Quite some time. You know, and it's like yesterday we went and we testified with two police officers. And uh, one of them knew a little bit about it, so I could I could tell him things that he could you know, it would take root. But the other police officer, there's things he didn't know, so I couldn't, you know, it was all being choked out as soon as I said it. It's just what the parable of the seed says, you know. And I told him, I said, you need to get a Bible and, and start reading it. And I said, you need to get into the last end times. I said, Google it on the internet and see what the Bible says about in the end days warnings uh, and read it and you know and he was kind of looking down at the ground at his watch like he had to go you know god help him you know but who knows you know maybe we planted a seed maybe you know if the lord waters it you know maybe he'll see something that'll that'll keep him wanting to believe i don't know but the other guy you know i've got more more hope in him than uh, the other one, you know, God help them. All right, Acts 2.21. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heaven, above, and signs on the earth, beneath, blood, fire, vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord comes. And it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay? Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God has raised up, have loosed the pains of death because it is not possible that he should be holden of it. You guys, don't have a spirit of fear. There's going to be some mighty things coming on us right now, man. I mean, mighty, woo, mighty. You know, don't have a spirit of fear with any of this, but trust in the Lord. You got angels around you too, man. You know, remember I told you I had that dream. I was on a rock and everything around me was washed away. In other words, all my neighbors, everything around me, they, it's gonna be washed away. They don't see this coming. They ain't ready for it, you know? I'm not worried about anything around me, man, because I know, you guys, that's why I keep saying this is spiritual. I have angels watching around me that the Lord has uh, put over us to watch over us. Your faith is important here, okay? There's things coming that most people ain't going to be ready for. almost forgot to play this thing on. A new little Bible app. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, 
nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 92. Okay, you guys, be strong in the Lord, okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. Don't have a spirit of fear. There's, there's things going to be happening here, man. A lot of people are going to be afraid. But there's no reason for you to be afraid. Uh, we haven't been spending all this time talking about this for nothing. And we're here now. It's time, okay? The games are over. God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All who call on the name of the Lord will be delivered. The word is truth. God bless you. It's in Jesus' name.